Hey, what's up, Bookworm? Just a quick one today. Uh, I've gotten lots of questions lately about Malazan, Book of the Fallen. As you know, we did start doing the channel read-along uh, over a year ago, January of 2020, and it still does kind of continue on. However, uh, that war band is pretty much non-existent now. Uh, I realize when I'm going through those threads, there's maybe like two or three people that are first-time readers with me, and the rest are all rereaders or people who have already read it, just kind of there for, you know, to help out or just to kind of experience it again through someone reading it for the first time. And, well, that has been one of the reasons that I've decided I'm going to take a break. And now I know that a lot of people automatically are going to think, oh, that means you're quitting. Uh, look at Wheel of Time, for an example, guys. I took a six-month break between book six and seven because I felt like I was starting to get a little bit burned out. Uh, so uh, that isn't very much going to be the case, and I'm quitting. It's just sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you start to burn yourself out. And I felt like if everyone that was involved in that read-along had really stayed with me the whole time, yeah, you know what? I'd suck it up and I'd get through it. But I feel like if I do that right now, I'm going to end up hate reading these last couple books because I read about 20 pages of Told. I'm about chapter five of Told the Hounds. And I read about 20, 25 pages the other day, and I was just like, I am not having a f good time right now. And I feel like I'm going to hate read this if I force myself. It says that letting myself uh, miss this world a little bit. Let me miss it a little bit and then come back to it. And then I think that I'm going to have a, a better time with it. So it wasn't a choice that I made easily, and it wasn't a choice I made to you know get it out of the way so I could read other things, guys. I, I said I was in it to finish it, and I'm going to do that. Uh, but I just wanted to explain that's why I've kind of taken it off. If you follow me on Goodreads, you might have seen that I put it back onto Want to Read the other day. But here's the thing. I'm going to finish it just not on that schedule that I originally had where I said we were going to be finishing Cripple God in June. However, if you want to do that, I will still have those threads available on my Discord. So you have that option still to, if you are like one of the silent readers and maybe you just kind of follow along on the Discord and don't really talk or anything like that, that option's still going to be there for you. But as far as me, you know going through this uh, one every other month for these last three books. Uh, nah, nah, I decided that, uh, yeah, it's just probably not, it's not gonna be good for my treatment of how I treat this this journey, you know, if I if I force myself to do this. Now, the next question I get is, well, do you regret doing this really long? No, I mean, look, I'll be honest, if I knew it was gonna be one that this many people were gonna quit, yeah, I would've picked a different series, but I don't regret it. But if I do have one regret, it's I should've kept my original schedule. My original schedule was gonna be two years. You know, we were going to be finishing December of 2021 and spacing these out much more so this wouldn't happen. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I did buckle to the pressure a little bit on that one. I, I, a lot of people were bailing and I was trying to find a way to keep it going. And that was kind of what I came up with. So it's uh, it's not a decision that, uh, like I said, it was, it was made lightly. A lot of uh, thought and consideration went into it. And I kept telling myself, stop being a baby, you know. But I, I, again, I, I think it would be unfair to me. People who want to hear me talk about these last three books and want me to enjoy it, I think this is the best course of action. Because if I force myself to finish it, I'm just going to be like, oh, God, I'm glad that's over with. Whereas, you know, I'd like to be like I was with Wheel of Time. I took that break. I got rejuvenated. I was super excited to come back to that world when I did it. And you know what? I had that emotional ending that I wanted. I felt like if I had just forced all 14 of those in a row, I don't know necessarily that I would have had that same emotional reaction to the ending that I did. So I want to kind of do the same here. Uh, I, I very much do like the series, guys, uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, a couple of the books have been kind of a miss for me. But again, you're talking about thousand-page books. Sometimes they're not all going to land for you. So I've liked five of the seven books. Uh, I like what I read and told the hound so far. I just I got to another one of those points where I was like, I've read 25 pages now, and I don't know a single character he just talked about. And I just felt like I don't have the mental capacity in the file cabinets upstairs right now. You know, so. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be better for all involved. I want to make sure that I'm able to talk about these last two books, feel like I have the energy to talk about them because I enjoyed doing it, not because, oh, I made a schedule. So people always encourage me, Mike, don't worry about your schedule. Read what you want to read. I don't want to bail on people in a read-along or nothing. But, you know, those those people who are very active with this right now and that are currently still on the read-along, I, I asked them how they felt about it, and they were like, man, we completely understand, you know? So uh, other people have, have been very accepting of it. I hope that, uh, you know, the the ones who have been enjoying this or watching those videos and stuff, I hope that you you understand as well. I mean, I did quit the, uh, the, the spoiler talks because, like I said, there was hardly anybody left anymore, and I felt like it was kind of making it work. 
So uh, again, with this, I just I always want to make sure that reading stays fun, guys. And I feel like I always say, if you're not having a good time, you know, don't do it. And again, I am enjoying the world. I don't want to sound like I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too. Although cake would be really, really good. It'd make you feel a lot better when you're down about a book. But uh, yeah, I, I want to make sure that you understand that I do very much enjoy this world. It's going to end as a top 10 fantasy series all time for me. I just kind of kind of clear the cash, let the, let the brain rebuffer a little bit, I think. And then head back into it in a couple of months, maybe, I think, is when I can get back into it. And uh, who knows? We might still finish by the end of this year. But uh, yeah, my original schedule of finishing Cripple God in June, in which I had planned to read uh, Dust of Dreams and Cripple God back to back because that's what everybody tells me. And you realize that's like 2,500 pages of a book you're talking about finishing there. So uh, I want to make sure that uh, I am clear and ready to go when that happens. So again, I understand if you are disappointed. I do apologize. I'm not doing these things to disappoint anyone or anything like that. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure that uh, I'm in the right state of mind to continue to give you guys the content that I feel like you deserve. And uh, yeah, if I'm just grumpy, I don't think that I would be doing that. And I was very, very grumpy trying to force myself to, to read that book. So yeah, it's been put back here on the shelf, but it's by no means filed under DNF. Again, I did the same thing with Wheel of Time. I did the same thing with Witcher, and I haven't gone back to Witcher yet, but I am going to go back to Witcher. So <laughs> that's probably a bad example. But yeah, uh, again, I hope you guys do get it. So uh, if you are still on the read-along, hey, you know, drop in the comments. Let me know. A again, you do have that option on the Discord for others who are there. You want to take a break when I do? Uh, continue to follow the weekly updates, guys. I'll let you know when I do decide to go back to it and things like that. So again, this isn't a complete abandonment. This isn't going to be like a year from now or anything like that. Just I'm not going to be finishing this book, uh, Told the Hounds, uh, b b before April like I had originally planned to. So that is the long skinny of it, guys. So uh, drop in the comments and let me know uh, how you feel about this decision. Uh, I, I, I get it if you're upset, uh, but I, I do hope that you will understand. And uh, I will talk to you guys for the uh, the weekly update tomorrow. I kind of want to get this out there before the weekly update where people are like, wait, what? Why did you do that? So I don't kind of have to take that much time to explain why I made this decision there. So uh, drop in the comments, guys. Let me know how you feel. And uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.